This weekend Blizzard is doing the first of their core gameplay experiments. Quick play is becoming quicker play. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm Dimzies from the Omnic Post. In the weeks following BlizzCon, Aaron Keller, the game director for Overwatch, had hinted at some experiments that they were working on. They wanted to try some changes to the core game mechanics within Quick Play. In a blog post that was released earlier today, the team said that they're planning to do the first of these experiments as soon as next weekend. They call these experiments Quick Play Hacked. It seems that adding a hacker hero in your roster pays off in multiple ways. And this specific hack is getting the name Quicker Play. It's a bit of a play on words, but it is a rather astute name, since this alternate version of Quick Play speeds up a lot of the core rules for the different game modes. Now we'll have a look at those new rules in a minute. First, let me do a bit of uh, a prediction. I know for a fact that a rather substantial part of this community is going to get all worked up about this new idea. That tables are going to be flipped, that hissy fits will be thrown, that we're going to go all kindergarten on this sh**. Uh, to be honest, a big part of the community is already worked out. Since the Winter Wonderland event started, the mood in the community has kind of flipped. And to a certain extent, for very understandable reasons. Reasons I actually agree with. Why add a bundle with a shit ton of tickets to the shop? Mm, breathe. There we go. Other reasons are being created by some of my colleagues. Opinions that were pulled out of the dark cavities of their bodies, or that are only relevant to let's say 1% of the player base, all for the clicks. But those reasons are still being repeated over and over again by anybody that wants to sound as slightly interesting. It's like a drone army marching straight for my comments. On top of that, we as a species just do not like change. And gamers are kind of special, we don't like change but we also complain that they don't change enough. Game development, so much fun, but to be honest, all of that is quite human. Well, except for the droning. And look, before you dive into my comments and say something like, I like change, but this is going to ruin the game, let me remind you. A, this is an experiment, they're trying to test something. B, it's only for a weekend. If you can't handle it, I don't know, work on your stamp collection. C, there is no way in hell that you can predict how this is going to turn out. We all seem to think that we're game designers, experts, that we know exactly what this game needs. But we don't. Hell, even the professionals, the game designers at Team 4 don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. That's why they're testing it. And yeah, of course they tested it internally, but you can test as much as you want internally, but it's not until you put it in front of millions of people that you'll know if it's going to fly or if it is going to crash. So let's just chill and give it the good old college try, shall we? And we can give our feedback afterwards, in a polite way. Now, you might ask yourself, why are they not doing this on a PTR or even a, an experimental card, the arcade? Well, the simple answer is that they want to test this on as many people as possible. This is a core game mechanic that they want to change. It's one of the first times ever they do something like this. And they want to get it in front of as many people as possible. The near to life experience, so to speak. And if they put it in a separate section, well, we tend to ignore it. No matter how bad or how good it is, we just don't play it that much. But anyways, that quicker play, what are the rules exactly? Let's have a look. Respawning times are now 75% of their original time. This is one Aaron hinted at already a few weeks ago, that the spawn times would get substantially shorter. And personally, I thought they were going to be even shorter than this. Now combined with the grouped respawn that we saw added to the game a few months ago, this might be interesting. Payloads in Escort and Hybrid maps will move 60% faster. Taking control of the objective point in Hybrid is 40% faster than normal. Taking control of the objective point in Control is 40% faster than normal. And scoring the capture progress percentage is 80% faster. So initially capturing the objective is already going to be faster, but holding on to it, and you won't have to hold on to that point as long. 80% is quite substantial. And the same goes for Flashpoint. Taking control of the objective point in Flashpoint is 20% faster than normal and scoring the capture progress percentage is 40% faster. When you play an Escort Hybrid or Push Map, the initial match time has been reduced to 70% of the original time. And any time extension are also reduced to 70% of the total time added. That is a lot of numbers, uh, but I think the big word here is fast, which is going to result in less fights and is going to make those matches a lot shorter. 
Not a bad thing with the uh, attention span of this community. On the other hand, there's also going to be less time or less room to reorganize and counter the enemy team, which I personally am going to miss. I love those games where we seem to get stomped for us to just change things around and end up winning eventually. That Hollywood moment. I love it. But we'll see. Yeah, like I said, it is hard to predict how this is going to pan out. Now, as I said, these changes are going to be in quick play for a limited time. So by January 14th, we should be back to normal. And competitive play and arcade are not affected by these changes. Look, as you might tell, I myself am quite looking forward to this experiment. I like change. And I love that they have the balls to add it to a popular game mode like Quick Play. They have the big corners. Overwatch has always been slightly chaotic. And 5 vs 5 has definitely bumped up the speed of the gameplay. But the framework, the general timers in those game modes has remained almost the same. So speeding up those timers might just be what this game needs to kick it into next gear. You know, lean into the fast gameplay. All I'm saying is, let's give it a chance. But tell me, how do you think this experiment is going to turn out? Let me know in the comments. A big thank you to my patrons for their support. You guys are legends. And you too can join the Omnic Post family over on patreon.com slash the Omnic Post. Check out this video on the latest balancing changes they did in the mid-season patch. But above all, make sure to subscribe. Take care of yourself, take care of each other. Bye-bye.